welcome back in this video we're going to take a look at use insertion effect this hook provides a very convenient way to execute code immediately right after a components element has been inserted into the DOM so let's go and see it in action great so here I have a very simple component called use insertion effect hook I have three hooks here use insertion effect use effect and use layout effect and in each of them I just lock something and there is another lock here pre-render and in the end I'm returning a very simple diff so when this code runs I expect that first this is locked then this then this and then this so let's go and see yeah, as you can see, first pre-render, then inserted to the DOM, then layout, and then effect has run. So it shows that use insertion effect runs right before the layout effect runs. Great. But what can we use this hook for? So this use insertion effect is best for DOM manipulations that occur right after the element is inserted into the DOM, and especially the CSS in JS library. So let's go and see one example in the real world. Suppose that I have a button that will toggle the uh, theme of the website between black and white. And based on that, I would like to render a CSS and add it to my page. So let's see how we can do that. First, I would like to define a theme. And the thing that we return is, let's say, a button that toggles the theme. And then I would have my insertion effect, which will get a callback function. And it should run when the theme changes. Here I would create a style rule and then add it to the head of my page so I would say something like style rule let's get the style from outside that we will define and then append it to the head so document dot head dot append child the style rule and just like use effect and use layout effect, we can have a cleanup function to remove that uh, style. So we can here say document dot head dot remove child the style rule. Now we need to write this function. This will get a theme. Here I would create a tag that will be added to the head. And then the inner HTML of this will be a string literal. Let's say for all the buttons, we are basically writing CSS here. Color is uh, dark, then white, otherwise black. And we could do something with the background as well. Here, say black and then white. And let's do something with the border as well. Say one peak solid in reverse white and then black, like so. And in the end, we just return the tag. So let's go and see what we did. OK, didn't work out. Let me go to the head. 
style has been added okay I need to have a semicolon here so yeah because this is CSS now if I go back if I change them I would get a new thing new style being added here and if I change it back you can see the CSS file has been changed here you can also have any kind of CSS that you want so we can say HTML and button both of them have these rules and as you can see it changes for both of them great of course we can go and say use effect and in this example the use effect works pretty much the same but the use insertion runs right after DOM insertion so let's change it back to what it was great so yeah this is use insertion effect I hope you have learned something from this video and uh, see you in the next video